day to eat and there are. Give me the power I beg of you! Welcome back to Sledgehammer Horror, guys. I am Ken Sledge, and let's talk horror. Today, I am joined by my good friend and fellow YouTuber, Celise. How are you doing today? I'm good. How are you? I am doing so well. I've been very excited about this. Uh, we've been talking about it for a little bit. So to be able to finally make this come together is super awesome. Um, so you may know Celise from her YouTube channel, which is Sweet and Spooky right here on YouTube. Uh, for the people that don't know about you, I have all her links down here in the description, guys. So make sure you're checking her out. Can you give us a little idea about what you do here for the people that haven't seen you yet? Yeah. Um, basically, I talk all things spooky on my channel. I do horror reviews top 10 list in the near future i'm going to be doing some short films because i am an actress so i'm looking forward to that i also do some movie commentaries just like anything horror related i've got it <laughs> right and you guys are seeing this a little bit in the future obviously but when we we're recording this you just did a movie commentary today so the people can go back and watch it uh you did uh dead alive today right yes i did i was just it making was sure i got the title time. correct because you made me laugh <laughs> really hard at the beginning when you're like we're doing the fuck's this movie dead alive like <laughs> <laughs> it has two different names i'm like I know. which one is the correct name i don't know i hope it's dead, dead alive, alive. <laughs> right so you guys don't have to wait for me to give you updates on her because Celise, especially with the acting stuff please give me any updates you're doing so i can let everybody know but yes. just so you guys don't have to wait for me follow her on social media it's down here in the description Make sure you subscribe to her YouTube channel as well so you can stay up to all her content. It's one of the ones that I'm subscribed to. I watch all the time. So this oh, has been such you. an honor for me to have you here. It's, it's really fun. We're in a so uh, really supportive YouTube group chat that's really supportive of each other. And it's nice to be able to have you on here to talk about all these spooky things together. It's really, really an honor for me. So thank you so much oh, for doing this. Thank you. I'm so happy to be a part of this. Yeah. Well, we, we know what you're doing here in the future. You got some more movie reviews coming out. Like you said, you're acting. You're going to be putting that to the test. We know what you're doing right now. We just talked about your Dead Alive review, which was so much fun. Like I said, I was laughing out loud at work. Like, <laughs> the, a, a title? <laughs> but now, Celise, I want to take it back to the past. And I want to talk about the first <laughs> horror movie you watched that got you started in the sweet and spooky world. And your first horror movie was? It was Chucky. It was Child's Play. <laughs> <laughs> gotta love it my dude chucky man i've always said that chucky is in my top three favorite franchises of all time to me the child's play franchise only has one week entry and that's seed of chucky and um that movie to me is just it's too over the top but besides that i think the chucky franchise the child's play franchise is so great so amazing um do you remember how old you were the first time you had seen it i don't remember an exact age but I feel like it was somewhere in 2001 or 2002 because the story of how I saw this movie, it wasn't on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> so well, I kind of want to lead into that story. So who yeah. were you with the first time you would watch this movie? <laughs> so, okay. So originally I had asked my aunt to buy me the new Chucky movie, but I... I guess I didn't specify for her that it was Rugrats. I thought she just knew. And um, she went to the store and she bought the Child's Play VHS. Me being a child, no idea that that wasn't the Rugrats movie. <laughs> right. So I had put it on. My mom was at work. And I remember I was just at home with my brother. And I put it on. And I was like, okay, this is definitely weird. I When's the cartoon going to start? <laughs> and um, I just remember, like, the scene when um, when Andy's mom, like, talks to <laughs> the doll. And she's like, I said, talk to me, damn it, or else I'm going to throw you in the fire. You stupid bitch, you filthy <laughs> slut. <laughs> Did you fuck with me? You're like, oh, damn, Chucky, all right. Chill, man. I just, I just wanted I just, to chill like, with you and Tommy and those two little twins and just fucking get into some trouble. You know, maybe yes. try to find Reptar, tell Angelica she's been being a bitch lately. We didn't have to go all out like this, man. I was so confused. <laughs> That's so awesome. So with this movie, 
especially at a young age. Do you remember which scene it was that really affected you the most? Yeah. Um, so definitely that scene, just him cursing at her. And I had never even heard that kind of language before. So I was like, what's even happening? And then I distinctly remember at the end, like when he's like all burnt and like, oh my God, he's still walking. Yes. And I was just terrified. And I didn't know how to turn off the VHS. It was a mess. Like I had to sit through this whole film. Right. <laughs> Yeah. And then after you're done, they're like, hey, why don't you go play with your toys? You're like, no, fuck you. Ah. Yes. When my mom got home, she was like, what happened? I remember she like yelled at my aunt. My aunt had no idea. So. Right. I get to doll. Take it over it. This won't yeah. even affect her in the future. Rewind yeah. now. Or fast forward to now. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we know what scene affected you the most. But I want to talk about what's the first thing, Celise, that pops in your head when someone brings up child's play? The first thing, like scene? No, like just someone's like, hey, child's play. What's the first <laughs> thing that pops in your brain at that minute? The first thing that pops up is just that I wanted the Rugrats Chucky movie. And that's <laughs> what happened. Like, I just remember I was traumatized until about, like, I was 14 that I was like, okay, I think I can watch Child's Play now. And now it's one of my favorite movies of all time. So, like, yeah. it came full circle. And it's funny because. <laughs> When we started exchanging emails, I did not buy this shirt. I can't believe you found it. This is amazing. You know, like, when you told me this story, I sent you the picture of this shirt. Just so everybody knows, I didn't, I didn't hear the story and go, oh, I got to buy the shirt. <laughs> you told me the story. And I was like, I have the perfect shirt that I have to wear for this interview. And it just worked out so perfectly. Yes. Where did you find that? It's amazing. Uh, online. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I need it. it. Might have, yeah. I don't know. I, I think my wife got it for me, actually, because she knows that I'm into horror shirts obviously she's part of the channel she knows how what it's all about and, I love uh, it. child's play for us is one that is very special like we did our franchise ranking together on that one and um i just i think that the child's play franchise is just so solid it from is. beginning to end and to me for it being as long as it is and only really having one week entry um i think that's amazing because even the latter ones you know um was it Curse of Chucky, Cult of Chucky? I think those both have, sure, they have weak spots in them, mm -hmm. but they definitely went dark again with Curse. And then with Cult, there's that big mix of horror comedy again. Because mm -hmm. uh, my personal favorite is Child's Play 3. I think Child's Play 3 will always be my favorite. Um, even my little good guy here, my little Chucky, um, he's got the Child's Play 3 face on him. Oh, I love it. After he got it. chopped with the so devil. Um, yeah, and Child's Play 3, just as a kid, is the movie I quoted the most, you know, that. And I'm a big fan of the threes, I guess, because Halloween three is my favorite. Child's really? Play 3 is my favorite. Uh, Friday the 13th three, Nightmare on Elm Street three. I think those are like the three and <laughs> all the big franchises to me were always so good. Ex mm. And then Scream came along and totally flawed that for me because that's <laughs> three is not my favorite <laughs> in the Scream franchise. But honestly, same. The reason. <laughs> No, the reason I'm bringing that up is in this franchise, what is your favorite child's play movie? Um, my favorite, I, I have to be real. My favorite is the first one, but I really, really? like part two as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You've been very naughty, Mrs. Kettlewell. <laughs> it's oh, so yeah. good. It is. So <laughs> before we get back into that, what, what were your opinions on the child's play remake? Um, wow. <laughs> um... See, I wanted to like it. Like, I like the idea, like the mm -hmm. whole modern take on it. I thought that was cool. Um, but I don't know. It didn't really work for me. I didn't like the way the doll looked at all. Yeah. See, I respect that. And that, that was my biggest complaint is the way the doll looked. But what I love about this movie is the kills were absolutely phenomenal. I think the kills in this movie might be one of the best in the whole franchise. And then I love the fact that he wasn't Charles Lee Ray because mm. we, at first that was something that really upset me because, you know, obviously the a day Dewey, Dembella, that's something that yeah. we've all grown accustomed to, but that's already been done, you know, and Brad Dourif is Ch Charles Lee Ray. Yeah. So I think it would have been a big disrespect to him to go in and try to make Mark Hamill that. So I like the fact that they took it and made it their own. That's something that I'm a big fan of. And I was a very big fan of that film. Um, I'm not a person that thinks remakes are inherently bad. There are bad ones out there, sure. 
but I think that the Child's Play remake is one of the better ones I've ever seen. Um, like I said, the kills are great. The cast is great. Oh, yeah. The only thing I don't like is the way the doll looked. That's but, something yeah. for me. Yeah, I mean, Mark Hamill's I, voice was great. He's great. Yeah. You know? <laughs> and even the little jokes, like when he was going to name him, and, you know, obviously we all know Mark Hamill as the Joker yeah. in the animated series, and we know him as Luke Skywalker. And when she was like, what do you want to name him? And he was like, Han Solo. Like, that made me laugh. Like, I thought yeah. that was hilarious, bringing that <laughs> Star Wars reference in. Yeah. But also, I think that what I would love to see in this, and I'm not trying to get way too sidetracked. I promise we'll get back to that child's play. <laughs> but I would love to see them continue this in the buddy universe. Like, have the next one be about the buddy bear. Or, the, you know, not oh, always about cool. the Chucky doll. But, mm-hmm. you know, they, they, I think they could expand this with all the different buddies, like, and I think they can make a whole new universe out of it. I mean, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre has had 18 different fucking timelines. So don't tell <laughs> yes. me you can't split this off in a timeline. <laughs> no, I actually like that idea. I think that would be really cool. Yeah, I'm, I think that'd be a lot of fun. So that, that's your next thing. We're going to get you in that. <laughs> yes, I would love it. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to go back to the original Child's Play. I know we got a little sidetracked there. But what is your favorite scene? We talked about which one affected you the most, but what was your favorite scene from Child's Play? <laughs> oh, my favorite scene is like really dumb. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I um I really love Alex Vincent in this movie. I just he's like the cutest child yeah. in the world. So my favorite scene is gonna be kind of stupid because it's not like a kill scene, but I just love this like little kid like talking to this doll and being like hi i'm andy what's your name and he's just like yelling in his face (laughs) and it's just it's my favorite this little kid is yelling in this doll's face (laughs) i've always said that alex vincent is the most adorable (laughs) child but when you're going by acting skills alex vincent in child's play 2 is very much superior. I mean, he was a little kid. You can't put anything on a little kid, but yeah. his acting chops weren't quite there yet in Child's Play. Don't get me wrong. The most adorable kid. <laughs> if that kid made me breakfast in bed in the morning, I, you so know, that cute. would be the most adorable shit in the world. You know, the cereal, everything. I love Alex Vincent to death. I think he's amazing. He I is. love they brought him back in Coulson and Kurt. And, yes. Oh my gosh, I'll get there. Kurt <laughs> and Hulk of Chucky. And from the rumors I've heard, he'll be a part of the new TV show on Sci-Fi. The yes, Child's I've Play heard TV that. Show. Yeah. Yes, I've heard that he will be a part of it. Now, that's not confirmed, but that's a rumor that I have heard, and I think that would be awesome to see him, because him and Colt was awesome. And I would I love agree. to see how he got out of the mental institution and how all that wrapped around. Yeah. I think they could do so much, and that's why I would love to see these two timelines go. Like, keep this child's play going with the TV show they're doing, and then keep the buddy universe alive and what they're doing. I think it'd be amazing to have these two timelines going. Um, you yeah. talked about that was your favorite scene, and it was kind of silly, because there's no kills. <laughs> But let's talk about now your favorite kill from Child's Play. Oh, wow. (laughs) There's so many good ones. Mm -hmm. Um, I think my favorite one is when Chucky kills um, the mom's friend with the little hammer. Amazing. The babysitter? Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Amazing. You gotta love a you know a, a five story falling stunt. It's you know amazing. that was awesome. Yes, and I've always loved that. I mean, when we're young, like the first time you watch this movie, like at this point they're almost giving you this curveball of, is it the doll or is it Andy? Like it could plausibly mm-hmm. still be Andy at this point. Yeah. And when she turns around, she has that shock on her face before you see the hammer come into frame and hit her. I love and that shot. Yeah, and you <laughs> don't know who yeah. it is still. Like you don't see anything. And then you see, obviously, the good guy shoes in the flower when the detective gets there and they're looking. But it could still plausibly be Andy at this point. Um, Before I get on to my next question, one kill from this movie that's always affected me, and I always talk about this one, is John, uh, the voodoo guy, when Chucky breaks his leg. And then he falls down and he breaks his arm. And he's like, you shouldn't tell people where you keep these things, John. Yes. And then he stabs him. Like, that was that so was scary to me when I was a kid. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it was really scary. I remember, like, yes. watching. Just honestly, I was scared when Andy was, like, on the bus by himself with the doll going to this weird neighborhood. I'm like, <laughs> Going to Eddie Caputo's house. Going to the yeah. drug house. He's going well, to the trap there. house. <laughs> That's another thing, like, Chucky's inside, and then you see Andy just outside, like, Chucky! Chucky! <laughs> <laughs> Poor Eddie Caputo, man. He gets yeah. blown to shit. 
So we talked about Child's Play. We talked about the Child's Play franchise, Child's Play being your first horror movie. But now, Celise, I would like to go scream on you here for a second. Okay. What's your favorite scary movie? What is your favorite horror movie of all time? Oh, my gosh. My favorite horror movie of all time is Rosemary's Baby. Very nice. (laughs) Yeah. Did did you watch the remake they did recently? The made-for-TV remake? Oh, God. I did. I did. Not a fan? Uh, The thing is, I loved Zoe Saldana as Rosemary. Mm -hmm. Like, I thought it was brilliant. But, no, I wasn't a fan of how it all came together. It was very slow moving. Very yeah. slow moving. Yeah. It was a bit but I, I'm with you. See, Rosemary's Baby is another one to me that, um, it, to me, it's just one of those films that is there. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I know there's a lot of controversy around it right now because of uh, Roman Polanski and, you know, who he was as a person and, you know, all that. And obviously, I would never support somebody like that. That's not something that I could bring myself to support as somebody that could do that to somebody else. But I, uh, the movie's terrifying. Right. Yeah. You know, and even seeing the, ba- you know, when she looks at the baby and she's like, what did you do to him? What? Like, that's, that's oh, one yeah. scene from this movie that is, that will always be burned in my memory. You know, as a little kid, I don't know if you know or not, but I've talked about it on here before. I, I grew up in a video store. My parents owned a video store. Oh, wow. And yeah. So going and I was always getting different horror movies and checking out different horror movies. That's what really got me into horror. And Rosemary's Baby is one of the ones that that's when I was young a lot of it didn't stick with me because I think a lot of it went over my head I didn't understand the rape and all that stuff that's something I really can't process even now I can't anything with rape or sexual assault is I'm out the minute it's on I'm out I can't do it it makes me extremely uncomfortable yeah but I agree with with that movie you see when she that ending scene when she's crying and what did you do to him and that you know the cult of people is there is a scene that will always be burned into my brain. It's just one that it will never leave my head. Yeah. I think a big thing for me with that movie, um, I'm really like obsessed with performances because just being an actress, but Mia Farrow Mm -hmm. is like incredible in that movie. So for me, it's like a masterclass. Like I love it. I I get it. (laughs) I I mean, I I totally get it. So, okay. I'm going to go a little off subject here before I ask you the last question. What Mm -hmm. is your favorite performance from a horror actress? Oh, wow. Oh, my God. That's a big question. <laughs> um, you got a lot. You got a, and you got a lot do. to choose from. Mine's very recent, so I'm excited. I, I would like to know what yours is. Um, okay. So, Rosemary, like Mia Farrow, definitely is top for me. I'm going to go recent now. And I think this is... This is more considered body horror. I don't know if you've seen it, but Haley Bennett in Swallow was one of my favorite performances that I've ever seen. I'll have to check it out. Mine, hands down, Hereditary. Okay, great. Tony Collette? She's amazing. She is. She is amazing. The fact fact that she got passed over for awards on that is just so upsetting to me. That dinner scene alone completely tears my heart out of my chest every time I watch it. But you yes. look at a lot of these actors that deserve Oscars or Oscars, you know, yeah. um, <laughs> you know, that you look at these actors, like another one that really hurt, like, like, you know, like personally I felt attacked by was Bill Hader's performance in it chapter two. Like he deserved so much. Like he absolutely, I got emo goosebumps right now. Just talking about <laughs> Bill Hader's performance in oh, brilliant. Uh, it Chapter 2 as Richie. Like, he was so amazing. He was funny. He was serious. He was sad. He was, you know, this everything that you want. That's another movie. I could never watch It Chapter 2 and not cry when they're at the yeah. water scene and Richie breaks down. Like, you feel every ounce of pain that that yeah. man feels. And that, to me, is what makes an actor or an actress great. Like, with Tony Collette and Hereditary, you know, like, when she's like, I do everything I can, and you just got that stupid fucking face on your face. Like, it's <laughs> so, so good. So it's powerful. incredible. And you're just watching it. And, I mean, as a parent now, like, I, I look at movies different now that I'm a parent. Like, The Exorcist is a movie that, as a child, I looked at that movie completely different as I do an adult. You know, as a child, I'm like, fuck that kid. Get out of there. Kill that kid. Yeah. You know, now, obviously, 
I'm a parent and I'm like, you know, if that was my little girl, I would do whatever I had to do to save her. You know, like yeah. so it's just weird how you look at movies different when you become a parent. And oh, it's, yeah. it's really amazing to look at these. So uh, one last question for you, Celeste. We're going to go back to child's play. <laughs> okay. And we're going to go, we're ranking this now as a skull count. Zero okay. skulls being the worst, five being the best. We are okay. not film critics right now. We are not judging this on production or acting or anything like that. Okay. We're judging this strictly on what this movie means to you and how this movie affected you. So zero to five skulls, Lise, what is your ranking of child's play? Four and a half. Beautiful. <laughs> if only it would have started with dun, 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 little Tommy going for that bottle. We're in a whole different story right now. I might exactly. not even see you right now. Exactly. <laughs> so um, don't go anywhere, Celise. I got a couple more questions for you. Everybody else, like I said, please make sure you're checking her out. Subscribe to her YouTube channel down here in the description, as well as make sure you're following her on her social media links. That way you can get up to the minute updates on her and everything that's going on in her life. As always, guys, keep talking horror, stay what you are, and we'll see you guys soon.